welcome back to the channel real quick. We're gonna update the interior in the Ranger. Let me show you guys what I got. I actually just picked up a brand new touchscreen radio with Apple CarPlay and all that stuff. The last little truck had a touchscreen in it. I miss being able to just hop in my car and the Bluetooth automatically connects. On my gauge cluster, we're gonna upgrade this. As far as like some of the lights around the dash, I've already upgraded them and I've added like some little different colors. So my seatbelt light is like purple. Uh, my blinkers are like turquoise. I've added a couple of lights, but the, the stock dash on Ford Rangers sucks. The lights are like dim white and green. They're dull as hell. Um, I tried to change this one and I made the rookie mistake of not checking the LED before I put it back in and it's flipped wrong. So this part is not coming back on. So I ordered some new LEDs from Amazon. These LEDs are pretty good. They basically have a double sided uh, connection. So it shouldn't matter which side and then there's the LED. So I'm gonna install these for the backlit lights so it should have a blue tint to it and then we're gonna upgrade the radio. You know, we got the classic Sony Explode radio. In Boy, there. It if you ain't don't bad get and all, but damn man, we in 2021 man. We gotta <laughs> we gotta get the touchscreen with the Apple CarPlay and shit like that. So let me go ahead and get started on taking this off. It's a couple bolts, maybe like two right here up under this radio that takes off this whole piece. And then there's a couple I gotta pull out. Like you got these up here and then I'll get everything out. Got the radio out. We got the Sony Explode down here. The new radio uh, set up here. It already comes with the harness, but uh, here's the annoying part as you guys know. If you know about messing with radios, you just gotta wire up each wire to match the color of those and then kind of crank them. I knew I had some of these somewhere, but I guess I don't have any more. So I'm gonna be using some electrical tape and make sure I tighten them up really good and then uh, get the new radio installed. And then while I'll do that, I'll take out the dash and everything as well. As you guys saw at the beginning of the video, um, I did go and check out a Dodge Charger. I've been liking those chargers specifically, uh, the wide body. That was a 2021 um, Dodge Charger wide body scat pack that I went to look at. And uh, just like the Mustang, I was sadly kind of disappointed, man. I'll post some pictures of the ad on how the car looked. The car has 6,000 miles on it. I think they had a report on the Carfax and stuff like that. So it was at a decent price. It was a little bit cheaper than what it would cost brand new. So I went and I checked the car out. So I'll show you guys the video. All right, guys, I came to check this car out, man. Almost joined the dark side. There's a couple things I'm looking at on it. Um, and as you guys know how the Dodge community is right now and the theft rate of these things, but there's a couple things on this car that uh, kind of throwing me off a little bit, but it is clean car. Just wanted to give you guys an update on what I was looking at right now. So 2021 scat, it's pretty clean, man. So checking the car out, man, like as soon as I got out of my truck, and uh, I went to go check out the car. I already noticed exactly where it was hit. The guy's body guy, whoever he uses, is just horrible. I even told him straight up. I said, man, your body guy is terrible. Whoever does the body work for you is just straight horrible. He agreed. <laughs> he he really agreed with me. And he was like, man, he just tries to get things in and just get them out real fast. And sometimes, you know, he doesn't do a good job. But I told him straight up, man, like on a 2021, you can't have body work like this on a car like this and try to sell it. His thing is that he buys a lot of chargers and sells them and resells them because you guys know how the chargers and challengers, their, you know, their reputation is really high right now. People are buying them like hotcakes. So that's a smart move for that guy. You know, he's buying them and you know low mileage and stuff like that but the fixing and you know replacing parts is just not up to par like as soon as i got out i could see the discoloration from the fender to the door and you could literally see the guy's either handprints or his fingerprint touch on the fender on the passenger side fender and then he painted over it like oh dude what the fuck what the fuck like are you not gonna fix that and then you can see sand marks still in the fenders and the thing is with the 2021, um, since it's so new, there's not a lot of parts for that right now with the wide body and everything. So I guess, you know, when he went to order new fenders, they said how long they would take to come back and, you know, when to get to him. So he kind of just rushed it and just said, fuck it, just repair them. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Which to me, obviously wasn't the best idea for that car. <laughs> I made him an offer, you know, it definitely wasn't what he had it posted for, so. I'm waiting to see what he says, but I'm not really, you know, 
pressured on it just because the reputation of chargers and challengers right now too is horrible um the theft rate is just too crazy i can't even i ain't trying to go into the mall or park at the store or something and in the back of my head i'm worried if i come out you know somebody done joyride my shit taking gone with it then we get our special treats Ooh, that's good dude where's my car oh it's where's your car dude you know getting ready to part it out I, I do not want that but i do like those wide body cars and you know they got a lot of potential last night the z did get revealed man watch my previous videos man i've always been a z fan um the 300 zx at one point was my dream car um, and i really love those cars and i got two of them and now i hate them yeah, they're just the most unreliable cars. They're the hardest to work on. I would never buy another one again with uh, the VG30 in it. It has potential, man. 400 horsepower from the factory, 350 foot pounds of torque. The car looks pretty good. Uh, the interior options and stuff like that. They got a sport uh, package and a performance package. So, and the pricing, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm trying to wait to see how much they're gonna price it for because that might be my next car, 2023. Um, it's going to release in 2022 spring. So next year around March area, they should be ready to go. But I know everybody and their mama going to be jumping on it, trying to go to dealerships. And I hate that shit. I like to just go up there, buy my shit and leave. I don't like having to deal with, oh, I'm trying to call different dealerships and look around. I don't want to do all that. And I know that's how it's going to be. Hopefully the market goes by down. But with the dealership markups, the way they've been marking things up, man, ugh, it's ridiculous. I'm not paying no more than what that car is worth. I'm not paying no 65000 for a fucking Z. I'm not doing it. So hopefully we can get that price um, and see what colors they come out with because they only showed the blue and the yellow. So we can go from there and see what they come out with. But before we end off the video, man, I want to th say thank you to you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys' support. The tail lights for the Ranger are in, so I'm going to do a quick install on those tail lights. But uh, before I do those tail lights, man, I want to just say thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, might be checking out that Z and see my reaction fully how it looks. And, you know, go, th go through everything and check it out and see if that's really what I want to buy or save for. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, appreciate you guys. I love y'all. Let's get this rear tail light installed in. These are the new C-style tail lights, like the new uh, Fords. And they should look good, man. All right, guys, I guess we get some bonus footage, man. The tail lights actually showed up and the uh, LED third brake light. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got in this box. So these are supposedly the new C-style LED tail lights. I like to keep it simple and clean so I didn't go with those tinted or those, you know, odd looking ones. I want to keep it like an OEM look. So let's see how these come out. So these are the new tail lights. I don't know if you can see it without the light being on, but there's an LED C bar right here compared to the oem basics and i actually got the led reverse lights that i'm going to be installing in here so let me go ahead and remove this i think it's just these four screws just like my mazda was two screws right here two screws right there the whole tail light comes out all right now we got this one pulled out these are the led reverse bulbs gonna change these out and the new tail lights in there just like that guys the new tail lights are in nice update now i will say the fitment it's not extremely perfect this is really good. I think the only gripe I have is like right here at the top. There's like a itty bitty little space between there. Other than that, perfect. They look great. The only thing I got to test is the reverse lights. Like I was explaining to you guys last time about the LEDs, they might need to be flipped. And then I got to take the lights out again and put them back in and make sure they work. But I can't test the uh, reverse lights by myself. And then the LED third brake light is in now as well. And we got the LED license plate lights, man. We LED'd out over here, man. The Ranger looking like a 2020 out here. That's the third brake light up there. We got the, all right. Ooh, the reverse is bright. Okay, blinkers. Other one. <laughs> 